Welcome to the Marshall News and View Show. I'm Elaine Conyers, and my special guest today is Jane Wylogi, who is the um, uh, ACE coordinator for Southwest Minnesota, and um, uh, in specifically for Lyon County. Mm -hmm. And uh, we appreciate your coming in today and telling us there's you've been doing a lot of work uh, for the aging, and that is so important because, as we know, um, people are living longer, and our baby boomers are getting starting to get old, and they that's a huge population. And so the, you're a busy gal, I'm sure. Elaine, I like that introduction you're going with there because truly what is the upside of aging at the yeah. same time? Yes. As many people are saying, you know, I don't want to get older. Oh, yeah. Necessarily, right. but then we we can look for ways that we can still be contributing and be active in our communities. And yes. That's what ACE is all about. Yeah. The, it's a tricky title, and no, I don't work for ACE, the hardware store. No. <laughs> yeah. And but the. But you ACE, fix things anyway. <laughs> yeah, I fix. That's that's good. I like that. Yeah. ACE is ACE stands for Advocate, Connect, and Educate. educate. So okay. three main programs that we're trying to connect sure. with, and, and I just said the word connect again, yeah. but bringing all that together for um, not just Marshall, but a county-wide system. Right. And then we're actually a seven-county nonprofit. Oh. Our organization is, okay. and there's an executive director, Michelle Baumhoffner is her name. Okay. And in other counties, it's been in existence for a number of years, and it's fairly new here in Lyon County. But what happened was there's there's funds that can come from the federal government, federal through the, government through the wow. senior core program. Okay. And so Lyon County stepped up to to um, be a matching mm -hmm. site. The commissioners said they wanted to have this program, yeah. and again trying to help um, with all those numbers you're talking about, yeah. um, being helping people be more prepared. Yes. It's not just the aging part. Um, there's so many um, attributes to our programs because it might be something about um, even caregiving or um, learning oh. about a specific disease. Yeah. It, there's just, it's a wide range of things that we're Good. trying to accomplish. Good. Well, and that's, uh, you know, I, I don't think there's ever been anything like this previously, has there? Um, Do the, oh, the aging just get older and that's it? You know, mm -hmm. there's no uh, activity for them necessarily or hasn't been, I should say. It's and just been, well, you're getting older and that's it. Well, more so in our communities, I think we've been really fortunate. There's a lot of volunteerism, and that's one of the key oh. components of this program yeah. is tapping into that volunteer network. Yeah. And many people in their communities would be involved in some fashion in, in programs that they're aware of, um, be it hospice or you know, through the hospital, through the oh. thrift store, through the historical, but we can embellish on that and then make make even wider connections. Sure. Um, maybe even counsel people to what they might want to look for. Yes. How to use those skills and experiences that they've had through their careers as they look to getting um, retired. Right. Like what What's next? And kind yes. of help answer that question. Yeah. In, in being involved. And so we would go out and seek um, stations or kind of the, those service opportunities mm. in, in the communities. And, okay. and on a bigger scale, um, I could see even as we go forward creating like a Lyon County Council on Aging. Oh, okay. And, and inviting sure. not just not, not, not the providers or the healthcare service folks or the social service people, but the people who are aging, aging. Okay. <laughs> to be involved in that. Sure, sure. And so, um, so this organization that uh, one of the things then it does is provide some programs, right? Yes. And is that more educational programs or just, or uh, mm -hmm. what, what kind mm -hmm. of one thing of the, do you... One of the key ones are trying to get off the ground is, is called Bone Builders. And so that is a, an exercise program specifically to increase strength and wow. endurance. Yeah. And you, I'm actually looking right now for um, leaders to come forward that would be the instructors. Yeah. So again, tapping into the people who are yeah. you know, available, have the time, and can then be um, instructed, take a, I think probably it's about a six hour um, course. course. Okay. And then we're gonna be have offering this at the Y here in Marshall. Okay. 
and also looking to develop at a Hill Street place. But the commitment would be to um, to the class is twice a week um, uh -huh. and for, for six months and it takes about an hour but if we get enough volunteer leaders then they could rotate that schedule and make the schedule suit them as okay. well. Okay, sure. Um, like at the Y, I believe they're looking at Tuesday and Thursday mornings. Uh -huh. um, but it's a program that's proven to help prevent falls. It helps you stay strong. Uh -huh. Good. And I think that's the downside of aging is if you don't look to staying well or if you yeah. if you do have some kind of a health risk, yeah. um, how do you how do you keep it away right. and keep it at bay? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I want to help people. I, I like to use the word navigate, I guess, yeah. um, sure. often. You know, like how do you find your way? Yeah. Um, through whatever it is. Yeah. Well, and then that there, along with that, there's socialization, and mm -hmm. I think so many of the elderly, um, if you know, tend to just kind of stay at home, and and uh, if mm -hmm. these programs bring them out into the public, mm -hmm. and they can they can make social connections or continue their and social connections. You, you've got it, because it's, it's the social part we need yeah. to make sure, and also the nutrition part we need to okay. do, and then exercise. Excellent. If we can keep all those all factors those. going, yes. um, you can still be young, <laughs> yeah, you know, you for go. sure young at heart, just right. by being engaged in your community. Exactly. And if you can feel like you're contributing in some way as well, like through the volunteer part, yeah. Um, again, there's so many avenues that someone could be involved with ACE. Sure. Uh, I mentioned the class, the Bone Builders class, but we're also looking for leaders to come forward for um, a class that's ca it's called um, Living Well with Chronic Diseases. Oh. And another class is Powerful Tools for Caregivers. Okay. So kind of researching, yeah. and actually, yeah, I, I know we offered that a few times in town, um, and anyone who's ever taken it, um, I think they've really been empowered by learning more and there'd, there'd be any um, opportunity or any time that what's the right age to take it because yeah. you you um, at some point in time might be a caregiver yes. sooner than you think that's right and how do you be, be prepared for that yeah. and um, again with that program one of the hallmarks is making sure um, people understand this job that they never signed up for, right. but it's so important yeah. to help keep that family system working, working. and then also um, helping that person stay in their home longer to oh, be sure. able to sustain the caregiver yeah. um, and find resources and support for them. We have a lot of um, you know, support in other grants and programs from other places like the state of Minnesota and the Board yeah. on Aging, and, and so it's with ACE, it's really neat because we can compile all those different sure. aspects yeah. and find ways to, you know, fill needs or find, you know, fill a gap um, right. of service. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're pretty lucky, Elaine, to live I in the communities we do because yeah. as I've gone out t into Lyon County, there's action in, in every community for seniors, I feel. But again, this is just trying to embellish that and, sure. and give more possibilities yeah. and, and well, I think that the fact that uh, the government is stepping to the plate to help, uh, I know Marshall received an $18,000 grant with the uh, Act on mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, which uh, that's a program you are heading up now, too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to this, well, to me, that was a real surprise, you know, to, that the state would be giving a town, uh, a bigger town of Marshall, but it's uh -huh. still a small community, so to speak. That kind of money, and then the federal government stepping out and helping too. Mm -hmm. It's 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 really so good to to know that because you know we always think, well, the government does; they only take care of roads and bridges. Mm -hmm. Well, no, <laughs> they There's... take care of the rest of us too. Right, that's a good point <laughs> to to think that how. How are they going to care for this yeah. influx? Um, yeah. Some people call it the age wave that's coming. You know, that's as the baby boomers, you know, get older, yeah. um, and to still feel needed. Many people are certainly working to a later age by by choice or by yeah. looking for insurance benefits and that sure. kind of thing. Um, also, our program can help explain some of that maze. You know, what mm -hmm. does Social Security mean? What does Medicare mean? Oh, yeah. How how do you you know ac access those programs? Right. And then further than that, it's like, just like, what do I want to do? I'm, I, yes. um, how can I contribute? And sometimes it's a natural fit. You can find it maybe through your church or through an organization mm -hmm. you're part of. But even more so, it's like, how can we kind of get all this action, you know, together? together. And, right. Mm -hmm. So, well, it sounds like you really, um, you enjoy what you're doing, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I yeah. do, I do, and it, it's kind of a culmination, Elaine, of um, being in, in different aspects of, of aging programs from um, when I first came to Marshall, I was working in long-term care and, you know, met a lot of families at that point in time when their loved one was admitted to the nursing home. Mm -hmm. But, oh my goodness, things have changed now where even if someone does need to have, um, like, a surgery and then they do some rehab at long-term mm -hmm. care, they they're not going to be staying there. They're going back home That's in today's right. world. Back yeah. a number of years ago, like yeah. you were kind of hinting at before, yeah. it, it meant that you were, you know, you know, put out to pasture. Can I say that here? Yeah, right. <laughs> um, right. But, you know, that you didn't have something to live for. And I, I yeah. think a, a program like ACE is trying to, you know, put that value mm -hmm. there and help people feel, um, you know, that they're connected to their community, right. community and we can advocate for them. And I'm really looking forward to launching some more education programs as well. Okay, sure. Um, for instance, what kinds of things were well, you just thinking about? Healthy aging, um, okay. looking at um, how um, specific diseases affect us, or maybe it's something like um, driving skills. Oh, um, there you go. Sure. You know, wellness. What what is a, a good diet? Cooking cooking classes, even like oh, looking sure. yeah. looking to um, just branch out in, yeah. in a lot of different ways, and then working with programs that are already here. Yeah. Um, I know I, I talked to a, a woman in, um, she's of a certain age, and she said that, you know, Marshall is really a perfect retirement community, but there's just a few things we could tweak. You know, you can think about, oh, um, yeah. here we are um, on, on the campus with our, with the TV program today, um, and there's, there's a good connection with the senior college now, which is called yes. Gold College here. Yeah. Um, but then this gal was saying, um, how do I get to those classes? You know, like sure. it, it, there we have the transportation, community transit, but can we make that easier? Can we make it um, just much more available to people? Sure. Or yeah. I guess another example she gave me that day um, was going to events like at the high school, like when there's a play or something. Oh, sure. Like if yeah. you don't have family members and you'd like to go to a play, yeah. how, how do you do that to go out in the evening? Right. And I think there's programs that we can, you know, sustain and be part of. I think that's such a good idea that they they have that uh, entertainment element too. Mm -hmm. Yes, because uh, in fact, I was thinking when you were saying this, uh, we used to like to always go to prom. You know, mm -hmm. even though we didn't have somebody in mm -hmm. uh, in the prom, it was just fun seeing the the kids all dressed up yeah. and stuff. It was a very so you still feel part of the community that's right. and. Yeah. You, you can still find a way to, um, like maybe that's where we would enroll some volunteer drivers there. that might help that happen, mm -hmm. uh, that would be available to escort people, yeah. um, you know, and, and people that are able to, they just need to be dropped off and picked up that's right. um, yeah. so that they can still take part in things that they've, they've done before, before. Exactly. or things they enjoy yeah. um, because it's right here, you yeah. know, it's in, it's in our community. Yeah. Um, and before you were mentioning um, the dementia programs yes. too, like just being more aware, um, we've done a lot of, um, we have a program called Dementia Friends that we can oh. bring to organizations okay. to help them understand um, more mm -hmm. what to expect, yeah. um, maybe even a business setting, um, what, what, um, what to watch for or be alert to or mm -hmm. um, in the way of trying to help someone um, out in, in the community again. Mm -hmm. um, find a way because even if you have limitations um, like a memory loss you can yeah. still be involved and you can still live in your own home you know yeah. with the right situ you know sure. situation and setup but to make it more comfortable on both sides yeah. for people yeah and I think too uh, like uh, uh, we were involved uh, a little bit with training the public about uh, uh, mm -hmm. dementia for instance and how to how you react to people and it it was interesting. I know you participated in in that too, where uh, I found and I went out to talk to uh, business people, for instance, and oh. they'd say, "Oh, why do I need to know about that?" You know, because it's kind of a, mm -hmm. in a sense, a new thing. It really is not new, mm -hmm. but uh, they're, you know, because people are. They're, the numbers are longer, going to increase. That they're going to increase. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to use the example. I'd, one time I went into a bank and I said, uh, I wanted to come to a meeting. Well, I don't need to know anything about that. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, what would you do if a gentleman came in and he he's really upset because he tells you he's lost 
all his money and he wants to know where it is. And you gotta, you, instead of laughing at him or scolding him, you've mm -hmm. gotta sit him down and uh, talk calmly to him and explain go through the mm -hmm. records so that he's convinced, no, he did not lose all his money. <laughs> right, or, or, or just being aware of who you can call. It's but, sort of like, there you go. maybe it's like yeah. Ghostbusters, Elaine, who are you gonna call? Right. <laughs> um, if you do um, experience that as a family, you know, like there's some changes I'm noticing in my dad, um, yeah. what, what do I do next? Or yeah. how do I, uh, you know, proceed? Mm -hmm. um, you know, just making sure that we have those services in our community that right. people know they can be connected to. Yes. Um, or advocating for someone, mm -hmm. like in that banking situation, yes. that, you know, maybe they need to have, um, a family member um, more involved at some point in time. That's right, too. But again, not closing the door of that, you know, you're old, you can't do that anymore. Mm, right. Because more people are going to be living in their own homes. Yes. I think, again, like in the past, we might have depended, and it was a small percent that do live in a nursing home, yeah. actually. Oh, really? But of people over the age of 65, it's under 10%. Oh, you know, oh, yeah. it's not, it, no. and then a lot of times now they're in and out. But oh. how, how can we, you know, there's still people then that do need that 24-hour sure. care, of course. Yeah. But how can we help them, you know, before they need to have or be in a facility? I think we have depended on the facility to kind of escort them around or yes. they offer those features and yeah. have the programs and things. But what we're trying to get to also is that there's more and more people who are at home, are going to be in their right. own homes yeah. and are going to need that connection. Yes, that's right. Or there's something called vital aging, and oh. um, I want to say that that would be some, you, you can never guess a certain person's age because they just seem to have, you know, lots of energy sure. and they um, are aging well, mm -hmm. um, or they've made lots of contributions. You know, that's another program that this time of year we're kind of um, kicking off, or I'm involved in a committee that would be searching for the Lyon County Outstanding Senior Citizen, oh. and just being able to help um, get that recognition for oh. someone in Lyon County sure and this would be the contributions have to be made over the age of 70 as a volunteer oh. okay so it's pretty specific and, yeah. and we could help someone um, you know, do the application if they were wanting to do that they can yeah. contact our office but we'll be announcing that at the county fair that's oh, next sure. month in, yeah. in August um, and then that person goes on to represent at the state fair yes. yeah. but it's just really neat to yeah. have Lyon County represented at at the fair by uh, um, an active senior citizen, exactly, a male and a female actually, so yeah. if you're thinking of someone it could be a, yeah. um, on both of those uh, categories Yes. Um, and again it's very specific that they've done community work sure. after yeah. the age of 70. So the, I don't think there's a number that you can say in today's world that um, that you you've maxed out, you know. Yeah, yeah. There you I go. know some hundred-year-olds, and the statistics are really high for yeah. more and more people getting sure. to that age. So, yeah. before when you asked about classes too, it's like all those prepare kinds of things, like financially prepare, yes, uh, legally right. prepared, yeah. and yeah. how how do you make your money last as long as possible? Right. How can I maybe change things up at my home so that I can adapt and. And still yeah. live here, yeah. um, you know. and that's so so important. And it, like you say, if you can get those volunteers out there in those fields mm -hmm. that that can help them figure this out, yes. yeah. yeah, instead of um, uh, you know just uh, having the same thing for supper over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what you know how to and, fix, and, it, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, using resources that are here yeah. in the community for but, sure that yeah. that we can do that, Great or job. maybe. There's a really cool campaign, and maybe you've seen some billboards about that. Um, you know, I brought um, my neighbor uh, a, a meal, or I shared my cookies, or something like oh, that. Yeah, sure. And some people, you know, they're, they're not, you know, what I just doing that out of the goodness of my heart. I, yeah. I want to check on that person, but it's also your caregiver then, in some fashion, you know, yes. by offering that. Or I, I got groceries for my mom, or um, yeah. I picked up. You know, someone's medication right. that wouldn't have been able to get to the to the mm. pharmacy. Right. All those things are are keeping that person in place. Exactly. And, yeah. And we can you know 
do a good job of maybe finding even a volunteer then that could help That's that right. person. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've got a lot of good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then you said how many counties are involved? Is it eight or nine? Seven. Uh, seven. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> and there are, it there. it's nice to bring that out because they are mostly our neighbors because we're kind of oh, uh, geographically in, together. Okay. Kind so of a regional area. Yeah, Lincoln, Lion, Marie, Nobles, Cottonwood, Redwood, and Rock. Okay. And you think about, for Lincoln County, for instance, that's just 22 miles from the edge of town to, to Ivanhoe. Oh, yeah. That's Lincoln County. So we, we do a lot of things together. Oh, We're 36 okay. miles to Redwood Falls, which has another, each, each of those seven counties has a coordinator like myself. Okay. And they're doing lots of different programs. Every county is unique and different of uh -huh. how it kind of looks. Yeah. But over, overall, we're trying to implement the programs we've been talking about here uh -huh. today. Do you, uh, do you, the coordinators then also meet together or do you coordinate some programs? We, uh, uh, then, but how do you do that if if you're you're working with the elderly? Are they going to drive 36 miles? How how do you do that? Well, in some cases they, they would. Like if we okay. um, had one of the classes I talked about before, um, like someone from Tracy, they probably come to Marshall's all the time for groceries, maybe or doctor's sure. appointment, or you yeah. Know, not okay. to say they wouldn't just stay in Tracy as well if that's where they're um, yeah. doing that. But they might be coming anyway. Okay. Um, but our our coordinators then are able to, we do meet once a month as a staff, okay, um, for sure, and the the headquarters is in Slayton, and it's kind of centralized then for Oh, for it's all not in Marshall, it's in Slayton, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's the center of that's, that seven county. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea, too. And then, as I said, we have an executive director, Michelle, and she's managing all of us, and okay. um, looking out for, all the reporting and the the when you have grants you you need, you need right. to make you know make the numbers run and right. and we do we, that's a good point too to bring up but there's a joint powers board Elaine so okay. those seven counties there's a commissioner from each of those counties that serves on a joint powers board okay. and they meet monthly too so okay. that we you know um, have good oversight and yeah. um, they know our our goals and the you know the numbers that we're working with and yeah. how we're meeting meeting needs. Great. And again, it's not to take away anything that's in place in any of these communities. It's just to enhance it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And, that's wonderful. And it's. I'm looking forward to getting to, you know, to more places and just keep sure. building. It's really been a very much a development process. Oh, sure. Over sure. these the time that I've had the position. Yeah. Um, how long have you been with it now? It, it's coming up on two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in a sense, you always worked with that for, yep. since you were the um, population. And in, in we're with um, the. Um, I did have uh, a stint. At, I home did have too. a stint at Boulder Estates for sure. Oh, um, sure. For, there, that that too. Yeah. Twelve years, and I did another position um, with marketing for long-term care that I did for a number of years. Okay. Um, so I, I'm, I like that I kind of know the area yeah. or. The other side of that would be seeing programs in other communities to, to bring it back to, to our county, to our communities, oh, sure. to replicate some yeah. things that are, that are good. Yeah. Um, and just really look forward to keep on building this and, yes. and having more people engaged. Yeah, well, oh, that's wonderful. Well, it's, it's quite a problem, uh, not a problem, quite a um, profession that that you're involved in and that's that's wonderful and and like we said earlier it's kind of kind of a, a new thing although it's kind of been out there mm -hmm. but now there's a lot more energy that goes into the program and because of the aging population yeah right and if there's someone who wants to know more they can certainly call yeah. call me directly or even think about some of the things we've talked about, how you might be involved there, but also like an, uh, serving in an advisory board capacity too. I mm -hmm. welcome people who had ideas about, well, how could that grow and, yeah. and helping us develop it? Because um, it, it does take time to get a new program well, sure. um, invented, so yeah. to speak. So since the federal government is involved in this, that means that, that uh, our whole st uh, the whole area of our state has these uh, this availability mm -hmm. of being a, a part of this mm -hmm. so it isn't just the southwest Minnesota it's throughout the state and throughout the nation right right 
It is, and then it might be a different sponsoring agency in each, oh. in, in different parts of okay. the country or in different parts of Minnesota even. Oh, okay, um, yeah. So we, we stepped up as a, as a, a nonprofit ourselves to, to um, be the local sponsor, uh -huh. um, but in other communities it might be a different organization that does that. And then it gets kind of complicated sometimes because oh. we do have a lot of different programs that might come from different sources as well oh, okay. to be able to, to explain that. Yeah. Um, but altogether, it works for it the works. the better the betterment of our communities That's right. and seeking to. I, I think the word like civic engagement would well, would be sure. it. Yeah. And I think it's another um, secret to aging well is to be active. There's some oh. amazing statistics about how people who are involved in their communities do um, stay healthy and mm -hmm. um, are um, able to keep on contributing for a long time sure. in, in their yeah. world. Um, so I, I think that's another reason to, to get behind that, this, right. this movement. I, exactly. I want to yeah. have it um, yeah, just become something that people know what, what ACE means. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so advocate, connect, educate, yeah. and it, we do um, you know, really focus on those over the age of 55 as okay. far as activating them in their communities. But we also have a clearinghouse that we could, you know, work with different groups. And, you know, just looking to really establish that foundation that we can mm -hmm. um, just have people served by their their own community right in their own home. Well, sure, that is, that is wonderful. Now, I think you mentioned earlier uh, about caregivers. Uh, you're, you're talking about family members, right? Mm -hmm. Or uh, are you also <coughs> talking about uh, people who run, uh, run yeah. the um, home, but not, home. Not, not a professional. No, this, I, I do mean the family caregiver, exactly. Okay, the family, mm -hmm. not, not mm -hmm. the, those mm -hmm. that run the, the nursing homes mm -hmm. and stuff. This is just for the family. And that's so important, I think, too, because uh, a lot of families, this comes as a big surprise. Mm -hmm. Really? You know? <laughs> I need to yeah, do this. I don't or? know what people are thinking they're going to do if they don't get older. I mean, because yeah. I think this is about being prepared and answering some of those hard questions or looking sure. ahead. As far as being a caregiver, um, how does that saying go? I think it was Roseanne Carter that talked about, you know, there's four kinds of care caregivers, and now I'm going to stumble on the quote, but, you know, it's about the idea that you, you, um, you will be one or, or you're going to need one in, in oh, essence as yeah. far as the caregiving role yeah um and the class is going to be coming up in september there'll be one at hill street place here in marshall and the um a quote i have is after taking this class i am a more confident caregiver having tools to resolve problems is a definite advantage in becoming a better caregiver and a happier wiser healthier me and a healthier us um, so it's called Powerful Tools for Caregivers, okay. and it's just that opportunity to um, learn like better communication techniques, it helps you reduce stress, helps you know how to take care of yourself, maybe gives you some tips for that doctor appointment okay. um, yeah. to be able to explain things that are you know, like in medical terms, sure. making hard decisions together, yeah. um, working together as a family. Um, those, those are some of the topics that are covered in the yeah. class, and we'll be advertising that. Um, it'll be coming up like this fall. That okay. class will be. So that means that that uh, a, a class uh, is going to meet like what once a week? Six, or, yeah, once once or, a week for six weeks. For six weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's an on. It'll be in the evening, probably thing. five yeah. thirty to seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we'll probably have a lunch with it. I'll probably be back to. There. Have another program and talk. Tell, yes, you, you, tell yeah. you more specifically. Today was so nice to, to talk to you, but as as you get the idea, there's so many different focuses we could go on, oh, and yes. and it might be a good thing to try to focus on good one or another when I re return good. at some point. And you uh, need to just uh, contact me. I have a lot of people that contact me and say, "Well, I got, oh, I'd like to talk they about know this. Your and number, I'd like Elaine. to <laughs> do this or that, or present this." So it's it's wonderful to hear from all these 
groups mm -hmm. in, in the community. And welcome for ideas, too, to yeah. know that. So, so well, it's so good to have you here, and we certainly will have you back. And thank you for all the work that you're doing, not only for count the city, but the county and the whole region. And uh, more power to you to keep uh, coming up with more ideas and programs for, for those that need it. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs>